Good morning, my dear students. I'm going to explain Chapter 17 by the title of Process Costing. Process costing is applied in companies producing single product in large quantities. The products are all homogeneous, similar, like the food and the oil refining. In the process costing, my production costs are going to be subdivided into two categories. The direct material in one case or one package, because I'm going to add it at once. Whereas, whereas the uh, direct my labor and the manufacturing overhead cost were going to be merged together in one package under the name of conversion cost because I'm going to add it them evenly. The process costing concentrate on the unit cost and how I'm going to uh, compute it by dividing the total cost over the number of outputs. I have three equivalent units uh, is very important concept in the process costing because it's the approximated amount of the units I uh, did not complete yet but I'm assuming that I have completed them uh, I'm going as if you have two uh, cups uh, half full of water we're going to make me one cup full of water or if I have 10,000 units 70% complete then the equivalent is as if I have completed 7,000 units and this we could compute it by multiplying the number of the units by the percentage of completion. In the equivalent units you're not going to focus except on the quantities and you're going to uh, disregard the dollar values of the dollar amount. I have three cases in the process costing. The first one, no beginning or ending worker process inventory. I'm going to cancel it. The second case, no beginning worker process inventory and some ending worker process inventory also cancelled. We're going to focus on whenever I'm going to have a beginning and ending worker process inventories. And I have two methods, weighted average and the first in, first out. Process costing, it is always required to determine my production report. Uh, that consists either of, of three parts or five steps. The first one, I'm going to summarize the flow of physical units of output. Second, I'm going to compute the output in terms of equivalent unit. Summarize the total cost to account for complete cost per equivalent unit and assign total cost to units completed and to units in ending work in process. The weighted average cost
the second part uh, in my production cost report uh, about uh, the uh, cost data all in dollars uh, work and process uh, in the beginning I spent 26100 consisting of 18,000 from the direct material and 8,100 from the conversion plus a cost added during this period uh, 19,800 from the direct material I had spent on it and 16,380 uh, hence uh, I'm going to compute the total cost to account for I'm going to take this cost and I'm going to divide it by the uh, number of the equivalent units found in uh, part 1 giving me the cost per equivalent unit then I'm going to link between the first part and the second part but by assigning of cost uh, I'm going to start by the units I completed and transferred them consisting of what I have spent on the beginning work and process I spent 28100 as a total beginning work and process cost then I also spent on them in order to complete them uh, by taking the number of the equivalent units uh, in front of uh, in direct material 0 time multiplied by the cost per equivalent unit 72 and 90 equivalent units in the conversion cost multiplied by 52 then I'm going to add what I spent on the beginning work on process plus the uh, cost uh, to complete the beginning work on process giving me the total cost of the beginning work and process uh, plus uh, what I started and completed by taking also the number of the equivalent units multiplied by the cost per equivalent units under both columns direct material and conversion giving me the total cost of the units completed and transferred out a work in process in the ending I'm going to also to take the number of units in front of the row of the end work process under the column of the direct material 100 and multiplied by 72 and the number of the units in front of the row of the end work process under the conversion cost 50 and multiplied by the cost per equivalent units in order to check that I'm correct I'm, uh, I have to get the same uh, total cost to account for as the total cost accounted for I have another case transferred in cost in this case it is required to prepare the production cost report for the second department I'm going to consider that the transfer of the units that I did not complete them in the first department are going to be transferred into the second department in order to complete them I'm going to consider them as if they are direct material and always 100% complete I'm going to give a certain example in case of the preparation of the production cost report for the second department under the weighted average and under the pipe as we see in the first case the weighted average my report is the same um, elements uh, three parts uh, consisting of instead of three columns are going to be four columns physical units transferred in cost direct material and conversion starting with the beginning work and process 240 units instead of the start the start during the period I'm going to add transferred in during the period to 400 to account for 640 completed and transferred out during the current period 440 uh, since it is completed the word completed means 100% complete for the transferred in and the direct material and the conversion the work and process will end 200 but uh, the percentage of completion for the uh, transferred in cost always 100% 200 times 100% 200 zero for the material and 80% for the conversion then I'm going to multiply 200 times 80% giving me 160 equivalent units the first part we're going to end with the computation of the equivalent units of all work done to this time the second part cost data all in dollars consisting of two main items the beginning work process cost and the cost added in the current period getting the total cost to account for then I'm going to divide it by the equivalent units of production to get the cost per equivalent units of production the third part assigning of cost the same completed and transferred out for 40 units I'm going to multiply each by the cost per equivalent units under each column uh, work and process end 
uh, getting the number of units from the first part and multiply the, by the cost per equivalent units in order to check my total cost to account for should be equal to the total cost accounted for. Same example will going to be applied for the first in first out, starting with the beginning work on process to 40, but I should consider the percentage of completion as mentioned below the table, the transferred in cost, uh, as I told you before, 100%, the direct material zero, conversion 62.5%, plus it transferred during the current period, 400, 640 to account for, completed and transferred for 40 units, but I should show their details. Uh, my name is first in, first out, so I should complete the beginning work on process units first, which are 240 units, but I need to determine the complement of the remaining for them to be completely finished. Transferred in cost, they took 100, then I'm going to give them nothing, zero. The direct material, zero percentage, I have in order to complete them, giving them 100%. So uh, it's seen under the direct material, 240, and they have taken 62.5% from the conversion, hence I'm going to give them the complement, giving me the 90 units. Started and completed, 200, since I uh, I mentioned completed, then 100% complete for the three of them. Then the end work and process, 200, as mentioned below the table, they have taken 100% transferred in cost, 200, direct material zero, and 80% from the conversion cost, giving me 160 units. The second part, consisting of the cost data all in dollars, starting with the beginning work on process, but in this case, as you uh, see here, uh, the uh, beginning work on process cost under the total production cost 51,600, uh, 33,600 for the transferred in, zero for the direct material, 18,000 for the conversion. Cost added in current period, uh, 11,480, uh, consisting of 52,480 for the transferred in, 13,200 for the direct material, and 48,600 for the conversion cost, giving me the total cost to account for 165,880. But when I'm going to compute my cost per equivalent units before I'm going to divide them by the equivalent units of production. I'm going to omit the beginning work and process cost because under the FIFO method, he is neglecting what I spent on cost uh, in details for the transferred in cost or the direct materials or the conversion. As you see, I'm just going to take the current cost only, neglecting the beginning work and process. I have charged on the transferred and cost direct material and conversion. As you see, either you're going to put the value and neglect them when you're going to divide them by the equivalent use of production, or instead of that, you have to put zero under the transferred and cost direct material and the conversion cost, as I'm going to show you later in another example. You have to apply this or that, but I prefer to put zero under the transferred in cost in front of the beginning work and process cost and zero for the direct material and zero for the conversion in order not to be mixed up. I took only the current cost, which is 52,480 for the transferred in, 13,200 for the direct material and 48,600 for the conversion. I'm going to divide them by the equivalent units of production, giving me the cost per equivalent units. The third part, the same, assigning the cost completed and transferred, beginning work and process. Do not forget that what I have spent on the beginning work and process in total, 51,600. Then in order to complete the 240 units, I have spent what on the transferred in cost. I'm going to link between the first part and the second part. I find that zero transferred in cost then multiplied by the cost per equivalent unit, giving me zero. 240 units for the direct material, multiplied by 30, and 90 for the conversion, multiplied by 108. I'm going to add the 51,600 and 16,920. 
I'm going to give uh, the total cost for the beginning uh, work and process inventory. Then I'm going to compute the started and completed cost by linking the first part with the second part, 200 times 131.2 for the transferred in cost, 200 times 30 for the direct material, and 200 times 108 for the conversion. I'm going to add them uh, to the beginning work and process cost, 68,520, giving me 122. 60 the total cost for the units completed and transferred out remaining were and work and process 200 times 131.2 for the transferred and cost zero for the direct material and 160 times 108 for the conversion in order to check the total cost to account for should equal to the total cost accounted for i have given 1729 uh, it's the same uh, as I uh, have already explained, the first 1729 applied on the weighted average. It's required to prepare the production cost report uh, using the uh, weighted average. And then I'm going to use the first in, first out without transfer in cost. Here I'm just asking to uh, prepare the production cost report using FIFA because I have already solved the weighted average costing method uh, if you did not uh, solve them try to solve them one time on the weighted average and the other for the five and this is for the first department i'm going to notice that no transfer in cost this is the solution i prefer you're going to solve it first before uh, seeing the solution in order to check that you have understand Then I have given you another exercise, 1731, for the transferred in cost, applied first on the weighted average, then on the FIFO. I prefer that you're going to solve them first before seeing the solution. Thank you for your attention. I hope I've made my mission objectively. I hope that you understand. Uh, in, uh, for any more questions, we could have chat between us. Thank you for your listening and your attention and good luck. And I'm going to deliver the other chapters later. Thank you.